Hello and welcome back to another episode of NASA Space News. Since September 26th, when the NASA Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART spacecraft, slammed into the asteroid moonlet Dimorphos, changing its orbit by 33 minutes, the investigation team has been digging into the implications of how this planetary defense technique could be used in the future, should the need arise. DART's push against Dimorphos was greatly enhanced by the rebound from the hit, which has been studied in further detail by analyzing the ejecta, the many tons of asteroidal rock ejected and sent into space by the impact. The investigating team now has a clear idea of what the DART spacecraft accomplished at the impact site, thanks to continued observations of that changing ejecta. On Thursday, December 15th, during the American Geophysical Union fall meeting in Chicago, members of the DART team presented a preliminary interpretation of their results. Experts believe that the impact of DART blasted into orbit enough gritty rock to fix six or seven full rail cars, weighing almost two million pounds, or one million kilograms. Data from telescope observations and images from DART's ride-along light Italian CubeSat for imaging of asteroids, or Lycia Cube, contributed by the Italian Space Agency, or ASI, are being used to determine how much of the asteroid's initial motion resulted from the impact itself, and how much came from the recoil. Pre- and post-impact observations show that Dimorphos and its bigger parent asteroid, Didymos, are chemically and structurally similar and comprised of the same material, which has been related to common chondrites, like those that often strike Earth. These observations also made use of Dimorphos's ejecta, which dominated the system's reflected light in the days after the impact. Telescope images of the Didymo system continue to reveal how the pressure of the sun's rays has stretched the ejecta stream into a comet-like tail millions of kilometers in length. Putting it all together, and assuming Didymos and Dimorphos have the same density, the team calculates that the momentum transferred when DART hit Dimorphos was roughly 3.6 times greater than if the asteroid had simply absorbed the spacecraft and produced no ejecta at all. This indicates that the ejecta contributed more to moving the asteroid than the spacecraft itself. Determining the size of the impactor spacecraft and the length of the lead time needed to assure that a tiny deflection will shift a potentially deadly asteroid off its course are both dependent on an accurate prediction of momentum of transfer, which is essential for designing a future kinetic impact mission should such a mission ever be required. Despite this, neither Dimorphos nor Didymos represent a threat to Earth, either before or after DART's controlled collision with Dimorphos. That wraps up today's episode. Tell us what you think in the comment section below. We really hope you enjoyed that video, and if so, make sure to like and subscribe. Click the bell icon. That would really help support the channel so we can make further videos like this. Also, consider checking out our previous videos. We have much more content for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.